everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well so today I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how I groom my face I think this is probably one of the like most asked question I get in my DMs you guys are always asking me how to remove the hair on your face so I figured because it is lockdown and mm, I just kick the bin because it is lockdown and maybe you guys don't want to chance it and go to get your face threaded and stuff like that it is a very scary time right now so I would suggest stay home as much as you can and I thought okay let me show you guys how I groom my face how I get rid of my mustache and the hair on my face because I have some sideburns I used to have thicker sideburns than this but I used to wax my face quite regularly when I was still starting out wax therapy I kind of used to practice on my own face um, and so over the years the hair on the sides of my face has grown back a lot finer but every now and again I will wax my face it's just that my face is very sensitive to wax so I kind of try to refrain from doing that but I'm gonna show you guys how I shave my face today I usually like tweeze under my brow um, on top of my brow sometimes I will thread um, I thread my upper lip and then I shave the rest of my face so again my face is also very sensitive when it comes to shaving so blades like this one which is like a dermaplaning blade um, this dries up my skin quite a lot but I only use this once in a blue moon and I'm going to use it today because I want to show you guys how to do it safely. Um, I know a lot of people dry dermaplane their face which is all fine and well but if you have sensitive skin like I do you don't want to dry dermaplane your face. Another thing that I also do is on a weekly basis so every second every week or every second week or whenever I want my makeup to like you know really sit well on my face I'll go in with an electric shaver so this is like a men's electric shaver but it's a small one I got this off take a lot this doesn't like abrase my skin as much as the blade like the shaving blade does now I bought a whole pack of these shaving blades um, a while ago, um, when I was still at university, I bought it from Small Street. Um, so you guys can get this at any like Chinese stores or whatever. I know I've been looking um, on Diskim and Clicks. You guys can check online if they have. I haven't seen them in a while. The ones that I did find at Clicks recently were these UBU ones, which I use for my eyebrows. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into how I groom my face. So. First things first, the first thing I like to do, and I have my mirror in front of me because I need to see what I'm doing. If I focus on this mirror or that mirror, I'm probably going to hit a flop somewhere down the line. <laughs> so, you always want to have a mirror close to you. Oh, I was looking where my handheld mirror was and I was like, where did I put it? <laughs> Found it. So you always want to have a handheld mirror and kind of see what you're doing. It's always nice to also have those magnifying mirrors as well that you can see up close and from far. Um, my magnifying mirror broke so I just have this mirror and that's all I'm going to use. Okie dokie. So first things first we're going to start with the eyebrows. I prefer to start with the eyebrows just because this I feel like needs the most concentration. You know you gotta like pluck the brows. My brows grow very sporadically. Oh almost drop my mirror <laughs> my brows grow very sporadically so I have to tweeze I would say every second week and like the growth of my brows is just very weird so I'm gonna go in and just pluck any stray hairs I have really hairy brows you guys like the hair grows all the way down here as well so frustrating. I feel like I plucked my brows a few days ago. But like I said, my hairs grow very sporadically. So anytime I do my makeup, I always feel like I need to tweeze in case there are any stray hairs. Now, I know it is so easy to get into a habit of just waiting to get your eyebrows done by your eyebrow lady but the best thing you can do especially now 
during lockdown is as soon as you can see your hair growth coming in you need to go in with the tweezer and tweeze away all those stray hairs that you find are laying out of the shape that your therapist did for you I mean if you are going out to get your eyebrows done then obviously be very cautious wear your mask and stuff like that and carry sanitizer and alcohol but yeah just be extra cautious now I know you guys are gonna ask me in the comment section isn't tweezing painful it is painful but I think I've gotten used to the sensation um, there was a time when I was younger where if I tweezed under this area my eyes would water all the time but I've gotten through that stage so that is great and fabulous I also used to over tweeze when I was younger so I have bald spots under here and under here but we live we make it work I don't think that hair will ever grow back <laughs> why did I do that to myself when I was younger now you guys I have always done my eyebrows at home I've never gone to anyone to do my eyebrows I think the first time I had my eyebrows done one of my cousins did it for me and then from then I just experimented with my own brow shape and yeah I used to have some really thin brows back in the day in grade 7 I had the thinnest brows and it was a hot hot mess I think I still had thin brows when I started my channel and I look back at some of my pictures and I was like look how thin my brows were oh my god what was I thinking what was I thinking thank god for times changing the dogs are barking outside for some reason so like I said I tweezed a few days ago so I already pretty much trimmed the top brow hairs that's all that I do every couple of months I will brush these other hairs down because you see how long they get and I'll trim them but I think they are fine for now I still want to keep the volume in my brow so I don't trim the tail of my brow all of the time Okie dokie, so next we're gonna move on to the upper lip. Now I thread my upper lip, obviously you guys can shave um, especially if you don't want to attempt the threading. Um, I just tie so when I was younger my cousins actually taught me how to thread and so you just sort of tie a loop. I'm not gonna go in detail about this because I'm not out here trying to take food out of threading therapist's mouth okay so you basically make a loop and then you do that and then it's you kind of put the hair and thread your upper lip so this is how I thread my upper lip I can pretty much do this from afar but like up close I need to see the hairs oh well, you can see how like different my upper lip already looks okay it's very clear that it's going to be hard for me to be in frame for this portion of the video so I will see you guys when my upper lip is nice and clean okay so now that my upper lip is done just to show you guys for demonstration purposes I will go in with my shaving situation and just this is how I shave I'm also going to go under my lip because I tend to get like really fine hairs under there. And I'll also do my chin as well. Just because I tend to get like a whole bunch of like fine hairs along this area. And like if there's no hair your makeup just sits better. One day. One day I will get lasered because I think an Indian girl's dream is to probably get lasered where we don't have to worry about the hair on our body ever again yes please okay so next we're gonna go into shaving the face now you guys can dry shave I'm not gonna dry shave today I have dry shaved I think in previous videos that video is pretty old but if I can find it I'll leave it up in the cards I am going to go in with the Herbalife herbal aloe soothing gel so this is like an aloe gel it's very very soothing to the skin it's to soothe and moisturize and I am going to take a generous amount of this. Now, normal people don't have to 
dry down my plain. I just think because my skin is so sensitive, I need a little bit of slip to the skin so I don't cut myself. And so I don't end up having more problems. Now there are so many benefits to dermaplaning, like exfoliation and allowing better product penetration into the skin and all of that good stuff. But I would say use these at-home methods to your discretion, you guys. Don't take what anybody is saying on the internet for face value. Always do your own research and make an educated decision about your skin. I can sit here and do anything and everything under the sun, but it may not suit your skin type. It may not work for you, depending on so many variable factors that we may not be taking into consideration when we make these videos. So... So now moving on to the blade, this is what my blade looks like. Like I said, you can get these from Clicks and Discam. I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of alcohol just to make sure there's no germs or bacteria on it. Um, and y'all, yeah, I am going to shave in a downward motion. Um, for me, I feel like this is what's best. So I start on my forehead and I kind of just... I have cut myself one too many times dermaplaning you guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to do half of my forehead. Make sure you don't go too close to the brow. Also make sure you're supporting your skin. So even though I have a headband pulling my skin back, you still want to use your finger and pull your skin back. You want to support the skin and prevent any cuts from happening. I think I literally just nicked myself right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But it's because I wasn't supporting my skin very well in that area. So if you don't support your skin, you're going to get cut. So be very, very careful. So this is, well, this is the hair that came off. going to do the other side now you want to have the blade at like I want to say a 45 degree angle not perpendicular to the skin because you will cut yourself and you want to use light pressure remember you're shaving the skin more gunk I think I'll just show you guys at the end it's so gross so with my sideburns I do the same thing oh can you guys see I'm bleeding it happens you guys it happens I'm gonna go in downward strokes kind of go a little back and forth like in small motions, instead of trying to go all at once, just move in small motions. Going against my sideburns, side of my ear, and then once I'm done with that section, clean off your blade. And then I like to go in this area because I also have like really fine hairs in this area. So again, just supporting my skin. Supporting your skin is probably the most fundamental thing you can do when shaving your face. Especially if it's going to be with this gadget. So you can go close to the mirror, see if you missed out any spots. But I'm just going to do... One more section and then go as far as where I shaved with the electric shaver. Now, I haven't done my skincare yet and I haven't washed my face yet. So this is basically my skincare from the morning. Oh my god, you can see how like different my complexion looks from the side to the side. Again, we want to be very, very gentle. Ooh, 
my sideburns on the side of my face have been growing wild. Now, I know you guys can see I have scarring all in this area. I would suggest if you have bumpy, textured skin, do not do this. If you have active pimples, do not do this. You are going to injure yourself, you're going to cut into those pimples. Wait until your skin is completely flat to start doing this. Trust me, you're going to cut yourself, it's not going to be pretty. Okay, are you guys ready to see all of the gunk, all of the dead skin cells and hair that just came off my face? This is what it looked like. I know, so gross. So gross. Okay guys, and that is how I shave my face. I will say I am definitely going to be wearing a sheet mask after I wash my face because using these blades on your skin can be very drying and makes your skin like very dry and squeaky clean. So I would suggest definitely use a sheet mask. I'm going to go ahead, wash my face with face wash, and then I'm also going to go ahead and do a sheet mask and do my usual regular skincare routine. That is it for me, you guys. Stay tuned for my morning and evening skincare routines. I have been testing out a few new products here and there. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. It will be coming very soon. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day every day with and without makeup. Also, if you guys are going to do this, make sure you moisturize your face exceptionally well even after the sheet mask and all of that stuff put a really luxurious moisturizer on and your skin is going to love you and thank you in the morning i love you guys so much don't forget to stay all day every day with and without makeup and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye